It may be one of the quirkiest political stories of the year, one that has world leaders trying to woo a music superstar through social media. CTV Sinjin Alexander now on the perceived Taylor Swift snub and why it's something even BC politicians can't seem to resist weighing in on. Unless you're a Swifty and know what that means, you may wonder what all the fuss is about. But when Taylor Swift announced her latest tour and Canada didn't make the cut, a suddenly cruel summer for fans became irresistible to politicians. The latest to bite? As BC Minister of Art and Culture, I would like to officially invite Taylor Swift. British Columbia is ready to receive her at BC Place. There is no denying she is a global phenomenon. Taylor Swift right now is bigger than anything you can ever imagine. So it's gonna be forever, or it's gonna go down in flames. A talented singer-songwriter and a savvy businesswoman with streets in her name and crop art to prove it. I don't look like I'm a, I'm a Swifty, I'm a Taylor Swift fan. Everybody wants to see her, everybody wants to be here, everybody wants to be with her. And it seems every politician wants to be linked with her. A conservative MP filed an official grievance over the tour. The PM tweeted, It's me, hi, I know places in Canada would love to have you. Leaders in Budapest, Chile, want Swift to swing by. Politics is a game of uh, getting attention any way you can and reaching people any way you can. This is a way to reach people. If they can reach the superstar and convince her to drop in, it will bring in a whole lot of money. Right now, there's an international phenomenon where people are gathering outside the event, too. So we have an opportunity to host thousands and thousands of people. The play, play, play. There's probably no bad blood in her decision, and there will be other tours. She's just not coming to Canada this time. Shake it off, shake it off. Alexander, CTV News, Vancouver.